Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. A bullet of mass 200 gram having initial kinetic energy 90 joule, a shot inside a long swimming pool as shown in figure, if its kinetic energy reduces to 40 joule within one second, the minimum length of the pool the bullet has to travel so that it completely comes to rest is. Here we have given four options. Options are option A 45 meter, option B 90 meter, option C 125 meter, option D 25 meter. Now let us first we have to understand what the question says. Here we have given a swimming pool and here bullet is a fire with energy of 90 joule after in one second it is get reduced in a energy become 40 joule that time we have to calculate the velocities and after some time we have to calculate when the bullet comes in rest then find out the total length is it okay so let us first we have using the kinetic energy initial kinetic energy so here what is initial kinetic energy is given 90 joule so with the help of this, we can find out initial velocity. What is the mass of the bullet is given? That is 200 gram. So convert into kilogram divided by 1000. Velocity, initial velocity square, that is 90. This is 100, 20 cancel out. Then initial velocity square, 90 into 10, 900. The square of initial velocity and uh, 900, then Velocity, initial velocity, root of 900, that is 30 meter per second. Okay. And now, in one second, the energy becomes 40 joule. So, in that time, we have to again, using the formula, M, here V, final velocity, square, is equal to 40 joule. So, mass of bullet, that is the same. So, put as it is, 200 by 1000. This is square of final velocity. This is 100, 20 cancel out. Then final velocity is equal to 400. Then final velocity becomes 20 meter per second. Is it okay? So here we get the final velocity and initial velocity. With the help of this final velocity and initial velocity, it can be considered V, can be considered U. Then we can find out the acceleration of this uh, bullet. So, using this formula, V equal to U plus AT. Is it okay? Here, final velocity is 20. Initial velocity, that is 30. Acceleration and time, that is given in one second. So, put 1 as it is. So, 20 minus 30 is equal to A into 1. So, here minus 10 meter per second square, that is the acceleration. So, here we get the acceleration A equal to minus 10 meter per second square okay now for the final case here the object or bullet comes in rest so in that case here final velocity becomes zero but initial velocity is already 30 meter per second here initial velocity considered u final velocity is zero and we have to calculate when or uh, what is the distance covered to comes in rest. So in that case, we have using the formula v square minus u square equal to 2as. Okay, so final velocity is 0. Here, initial velocity is 30 meter per second and it's a square 2. What is the acceleration? We have already calculated minus 10 into s. That is uh, minus 30 square, that is 900 minus 20 is equal to s minus minus cancel out this is 45 so distance covered by this bullet to comes raised that is a 45 meter 
I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success, I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye bye.